So in this video, we are going to learn how to create Salesforce lead from new Gravity Form responses. Let's say you have created an online form using Gravity Forms and you want that whenever you receive a new form submission, you want to add that same person as a lead in Salesforce CRM as well. So let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. In this automation, whenever we are going to receive a new form response in Gravity Forms, automatically with the same details, we are going to add this person as a lead in Salesforce CRM. So if you want to know how you can set up this kind of automation, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my WordPress site where I've added Gravity Forms plugin. And using Gravity Forms, I've created some forms over here. So let's take an example of this contact form. Using this form, I'm generating some new leads. Now I want that whenever I receive a new form submission, a new form response in this particular form, which I've created using Gravity Forms, I want to add the same person with the same details as lead in my Salesforce CRM. Now to do this, we have to connect this Gravity Form with Salesforce. And we are going to use an automation and integration platform called Public Connect to do so. And to access Public Connect, we will go to a new tab in our browser and we will search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pabbly.com slash connect. And here you can see we are on the landing page of Public Connect. After coming to the landing page, here you can see two options, sign in and sign up free. So if you are new to Pabli, you can just click on sign up free and create your free Pabli account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So I'll just click on sign in and sign into my own Pabli account. After signing in, you will reach to this all apps page of Pabli. From here, just click on access now below Pabli Connect. And after clicking on access now, we will reach to Pabli Connect's dashboard. Now, after coming to this dashboard, we have to create an automation workflow inside Pabli Connect. For that, let's click on Create Workflow button and give this workflow a name. Let's say I would like to name my workflow as Gravity Forms to Salesforce. You can basically give any other name of your choice. Then after that, just select the folder of your Pabli Connect account and click on Create. As we click on Create, we will see the automation workflow will open in front of us. And in this workflow, you can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger window. Now the idea here is first we are going to connect the form which we have created using Gravity Forms with Pabli Connect in the trigger step. So that whenever a new form submission, a new form response is received in this form, automatically the same form responses will be received inside Pabli Connect and this automation workflow will trigger. It will start. After that, using this Pabli Connect automation, we are going to send the form responses with the lead details to Salesforce so that we can add that person as a new lead in our Salesforce CRM as well. So let's see how it is done. Starting from our trigger window in Choose app, we will search for Gravity Forms. Just select it. After selecting Gravity Forms in Trigger Event from the dropdown, select the Trigger Event as New Response. After selecting the Trigger Event, here you can see Pabli Connect gave us a webhook URL. And now using this webhook URL, we are going to connect our Gravity Form with Pabli Connect. So what we have to do, we have to just copy this webhook URL from here and we have to add this webhook URL in our Gravity Form. Now, before adding this webhook URL, you have to ensure that you have added the Gravity Forms webhook plugin in your WordPress site as well. Let me show you. From the left sidebar, we will go to plugin section. And because I have already installed this plugin in my WordPress site, I'll go to install plugin. But you can search it under add new plugin as well. After coming to install plugin, here I'll search for Gravity Forms webhook, this particular plugin. And here you can see this plugin is installed in my WordPress site and it is activated as well. So you also have to install this same plugin, this same add-on in your WordPress site as well. After doing this, we'll go back to the form which we have created using Gravity Forms. And after adding this add-on, after installing this plugin, under settings of this form, you can see this option of webhooks. We just have to go to webhooks. After coming to the webhooks page, just click on this add new button. And after clicking on add new, here we just have to give this webhook a name. Let's say I'll name it as Pabli Connect. You can basically give any other name of your choice. After naming the webhook, here it is asking this request URL. 
And here in the field of request URL, we have to enter the exact same webhook URL which Pavli Kinnik gave us. Just copy it from here and after that paste it over here. After pasting the webhook URL, we don't have to make any changes. Just select the request method at post and request format as JSON. Now we'll scroll down and click on save settings. And as you click on save settings, here you can see the webhook is successfully added in the form which we have created using Gravity Forms. This means we have successfully connected this form with Pavli Connect in the trigger step. And now whenever we are going to receive a new form submission, a new form response over here, automatically the same form responses will be captured inside Pavli Connect. And here in our Pavli Connect workflow, you can see it is showing us waiting for webhook response. This means Pavli Connect is waiting to get some response from Gravity Forms of a new form submission. So let's do it. We will just open this form in preview mode and after that we are going to make a form submission over here. Let's see the name of the person is demo test. This is the first name and last name demo test. The email address is this. And after that this is a dummy mobile number which I am going to enter. The company name is for example Pavli. So just now in this form we have entered the details of a user, a test lead, a dummy lead. After entering the details, let's click on submit. And as we click on submit, we will see just now we received a new form submission in Gravity Forms, the same form which we have created using Gravity Forms. And because we have connected this form with Pavli Connect, we will see in our Pavli Connect workflow in the trigger step, we have received the response. And in this response, you can see the details of the exact same form submission. We have the same email address, same company name, same mobile number, We'll scroll down further and you can see some other details like the first name and the last name as well. This means the step one of setting up this automation is completed where we have connected our gravity forms with Pavli Connect and received the form responses. After this, let's move to step two. And in step two, we want to send these same responses to Salesforce as well. For that, we will just scroll down and come to this action step. And here in Choose App, we will search for Salesforce. Just select it. After selecting Salesforce, an action event from the drop-down, select the action event as Create Lead. Then just click on Connect and select Add New Connection. Now here, we have to connect our Salesforce account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this Connect with Salesforce button. After clicking on it, because I have already logged into my Salesforce account in my browser, Pavli Connect will detect the same account. And here in this pop-up window, we will just scroll down and click on Allow. And as we click on allow, we will see our Salesforce account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the last name. That what is the last name of the new lead which we want to add in Salesforce. So we have received the details of the lead from Gravity Forms in the trigger step responses. And in these responses, we had the last name, first name, email address, company name and mobile number. So what we have to do? From trigger responses, from gravity form responses, one by one we have to map these same responses to this Salesforce action step. And the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field of last name and here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from gravity forms of a new form submission. Out of all of these responses, select the response of last name and it will be mapped. After that, it is asking us for the first name. So we will be using the same process of mapping once again. Just click here and from the drop down, select the response of first name. In this way, whatever details the user is going to enter while making the form submission in Gravity Forms, we are going to receive the same response inside Pavli Connect. And using Pavli Connect automation, we are going to send the same details to Salesforce as well. After this, it is asking us for the title. So we haven't received any response of the title from our Gravity Form responses. And the field of title is also not mandatory, not required. So we can ignore this field for now. Then it is asking us for the company. So we have received the response of company name from Gravity Forms. So we are going to select it and map it. Then let's map the phone number and the email. After this, it is asking us website description. So we haven't received these details. So we can ignore this field for now as well. Then it is asking us lead source. So let's say I want to select the lead source as web. So I'm selecting it. And the status of this lead, I want the status of this lead to be open and not contacted. So I'm selecting it. Now, if you want to provide some ratings so from the drop down, we have three options, hot, warm, and cold. So I want to add the rating as hot. So I'm selecting it. 
Then we haven't received any address related details from the gravity form. So we are going to ignore this field of street, city and country as well. But if you add fields for these things as well in your gravity forms which you are creating and capturing the response, you can map these response in these fields. After mapping all the required details which we have received from gravity forms, in the Salesforce action step, just click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see we have received some response and this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the details of a new lead which we have mapped over here, basically the new lead which we have received from Gravity Forms, the same lead is now added in our Salesforce CRM as well. So let's check it. We will go to Salesforce CRM and we will go to the leads section over here. And yes, here you can see demo test. The same person whose details we have added while making the form submission in our gravity form, the same person is now added as a new lead in Salesforce. Here you can see the same name demo test, here you can see the same company, same mobile number and also the same email address. The rating of this lead is hot which we have selected in our public connect workflow, the lead source is web and status is open not contacted. This means the automation workflow which we have created using Pavli Connect, this automation is working perfectly fine and we have successfully created this automation. Now after setting up this automation, we are going to test this automation workflow once. We will go to the same form which we have created using Gravity Forms and we are going to refresh it. And now we are going to make another form submission. Let's say the name of this new lead is Dummy Person. This is the name and this is the email address. After that, this is the dummy mobile number which we are going to enter and the companies, for example, seem as Pavli. Let's click on submit. So as we click on submit, you can see just now we have received another form submission in Gravity Forms. And as we receive this form submission, we will see instantly within few seconds, the same person will be added as a lead in Salesforce as well. So we'll go to a Salesforce CRM. One second, we'll go to the lead section. And yes. Dummy person, the same lead from Gravity Forms is automatically instantly within few seconds added in our Salesforce CRM. You can see the same name, same company, same email address, phone number and the same status as well. So we have tested this automation in real time and it is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pavli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same automation workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can email us at support at or post it on our forum over here or you can write us in the comment box below too. If you want to check out the pricing of Pavli Connect, you can visit this link. And if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Pavli. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.